Hello everyone, it's Nava here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this DIY LPS princess costume. And yeah, here it is. It is super cute, and it's got everything that a princess needs, like a little crown, and the skirt, which is super duper shiny. And then it's got like a little torso here. This costume is super easy and super cute to make, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys make the DIY. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. So, the materials you'll be needing are some ribbon, some scissors, hot glue, a thread and needle, some rhinestones, a plastic crown, and your pet model. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our ribbon here and we're going to pull it all out here. Okay, so this is what the ribbon looks like and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to get this thin white uh, ribbon here and we're going to make it as long as this one and the next thing we're gonna do is sew it on here. So let me just get the pin off here and I actually did my nails for once. Comment down below if you like them. All right, so we're just going to lay this on the floor or the ground or whatever you want to call it. And then we're gonna put it right here on the end. And I'm gonna use a pin to keep it in place. And voila, perfect. Now we're just going to bring it all the way across here. And we're gonna cut it. So grab our scissors and we're gonna cut it right here. All right, there we go. And uh, now we're going to sew it across. So what I do is I'm going to put, I already got like a needle with thread on it already. So here it is. And then what we're going to do next is we're just going to sew all the way across. And I'll show you guys what to do next. So we're just gonna take this pin off and start sewing. And I'm gonna sew as close as I can to the edge here on top. So. Yes, don't sew super close because you can mess up the fabric. But actually, I just realized that there's like these little plastic things in here and this ribbon, so I'll have to take those out real quick. All right, so I got those little plastic things out. So let's just get started. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off by poking it and just starting this little thing here. And I need to be careful because this thread will break on this fabric, whoops. So I need to make sure that, make sure that the thread doesn't break because it will break okay there you go and now we're just going to go back and forth like this okay everyone so it is all done and um, it looks really really cute so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hot glue and we're gonna start putting on the rhinestones. So we'll start off by putting the big rhinestone at the end and there you go. We're gonna put this huge rhinestone on the end and voila. And it is gonna be hot so beware because I almost burned myself right now. <laughs> there we go and that's what it looks like. Okay, so now that we got the first rhinestone on, we gotta do the other ones here. So we're just going to start gluing it. That way I don't have to put the rhinestone down and then glue it. Thread are, the thread is, oops, excuse me. And we're just gonna start tugging on it. And so whatever thread you're using, just make sure to be careful because it can mess up your thread and you don't want to have to redo, have to re-sew it again. So just gonna scrunch it up very carefully and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it on both sides that way if uh, one side is going the thread is going to break on one side we can just scoot on to the other side so here we go okay everybody so this is what it looks like so far and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna keep scrunching it up until eventually it's uh, it gets these little loops here get closer so we just want to make it smaller. So we're just gonna have to keep tugging on this here. All right, everybody, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the dress on the model here. And I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna put it on the model. All right, so that's what it looks like. It looks super cute. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to fix it a little, but it's 
okay. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to turn her upside down and we're gonna tie it in place. And we want to leave um, a little bit of space or whatever you wanna call it so that we can put this dress on any other LPS. So I'm just tying it here. And I'm not gonna tie it too tight because I want it this dress to be for any LPS. So just make sure you double knot it. Okay everyone, so this is what the dress looks like and it looks super duper cute. I think it turned out really well. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to get our plastic crown and we're just gonna add the jewel to it. Okay everyone, so here's the crown. This crown is a Barbie crown, but it fits the LPS perfectly fine. I mean, if you guys can see. Um, you guys can make your own, not too hard to make. But what I'm doing is I'm going to get a huge rhinestone like this and I'm gonna glue it on in the middle. It's a little too big, but it's perfectly fine. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit inside, but it's perfectly fine on top. So we're just gonna start adding some glue here fill it up and just gonna kind of move it around like that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to get my rhinestone and then put it right smack in the middle. And voila, there you have your own rhinestone crown. Okay, so now that the crown is all done, I'm gonna add this little sticky stuff that I use for like, for the LPS to wear their bows and uh, their flowers. And I'm just gonna put it right here where the hair is. And voila, she looks super cute. So to make this torso, all you need to do is cut a medium length of uh, white ribbon or the ribbon that we used right here. And we're just going to glue the ends just in case so that it doesn't like fall apart. And I'm gonna do this on the other side so that it doesn't do the same thing. All right, so basically what you're going to do to make the torso is you're going to bring the ribbon from behind and you're just going to bring it from here. Make sure that it's nice and flat, so it's not all weird. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to wrap it in front like that. And then we're gonna do the other, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna do that. And then bring the other side, bring it back. And then we're gonna just kind of tighten it here so that it doesn't look all sloppy like that. Okay, so now that we're done doing that and it looks like that, we're gonna bring it behind and we're going to tie it on top of her tail. So we need to do that and then we're going to just tie it in place. So we need to make sure that it's above the tail or in front of the tail. And then we need to fix this. It's a real. It's really easy. It's just I make it look hard because I'm right behind the camera and I can't do it right. So there we go. That's what it looks like. Um, you don't need to double knot it or anything as long as it stays and it's pretty secure. And then we're just going to fix this here and bring it out. There you go. And they, they look pretty even. So basically, what I do is is just put the skirt on. And as you guys can see, it's kind of complicated for some reason. So fix this, there you go. And then we put the crown on and voila, you got your princess costume. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Also, if you guys would like me to make more costumes like this, be sure to give this video a like and yeah. Well, I'll see you guys next time and bye.